on today's menu an excellent recipe that you'll crave every week a stunning eggplant masala Le Homa, that's us going in Cantonese. I'm Will Young from YoungManCooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. This recipe is incredibly delicious, so easy to put together, and it's absolutely heavenly. Definitely a recipe you'll want to make every single week. A big thank you to today's episode sponsor, Shopify. But of course, as always, let's get started with the recipe first. Three pieces of garlic, finely chopped. Small piece of ginger, finely chopped. One long green chili, finely chopped. Finally chop one onion. Chop one red onion into bite-sized pieces. Chop half a red bell pepper into bite-sized pieces. Chop half a green bell pepper into bite-sized pieces. Two small Roma tomatoes, quartered. These adorable little eggplants here are baby Indian eggplants. I absolutely recommend these ones over the other larger sized ones because these will have more kind of skin to flesh ratio. It's up to you if you want to keep the stems on or take them off. Remove the stems and chop in half. In this episode, I'm using about 300 grams of Indian baby eggplant. Saute pan, medium high heat, one tablespoon avocado oil, eggplant. Saute the eggplant for four to five minutes. Add in the red onion and the red and green bell peppers. Sauté for another four to five minutes. The goal here is to get some nice color on the veggies. Set the veggies aside.
Like I always say on this channel, this is not the only way of making this recipe, it's simply just one way. And to make a young man cooking complete, we'll definitely use a little bit of this smoky, ruby red, little spicy chili oil I made in the previous episode. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check this out, make this really easily at home. Three tablespoons chili oil. medium heat. By the way, if you love easy and delicious recipes, then definitely check out or pick up your copy of one of the Young Man Cooking cookbooks over on the online store, which is why it's so awesome that Shopify is today's episode sponsor. Shopify is an easy to use all-in-one commerce platform for anyone regardless of technical ability and experience to start to grow and manage a business. Unlike online marketplaces, you can build your very own unique storefront with Shopify to sell online in person and on all major social platforms. I chose to build the Young Men Cooking online store with Shopify quite some time ago because of their robust e-commerce platform with seamless product integrations, visually beautiful modern looking storefronts, all within a user-friendly interface. There's also a Shopify experts offering so that you can have more advanced tweaks made on your site, which leaves me with a lot more time cooking and filming than to figure out how to code. To help ensure entrepreneurs are successful with their online shop, the Shopify app store offers tons of apps to help you achieve your goals. One app that we use is Shopify email. This is where you can sign up to receive the weekly Young Man Cooking newsletter, where I write a short blurb highlighting ingredients and tools I'm asked about on the cooking show, and it's automatically sent to your inbox. There is no cost to sign up for the newsletter, and of course, you can unsubscribe at any time. A little while ago, I participated in an interview with Shopify talking about my entrepreneurial journey. If you're curious about that, I'll leave a link to that article in the description box below for you to check out after this episode. To explore more about Shopify, you can visit shopify.com slash youngmancooking, or you can check out that link in the description box below. One teaspoon cumin seeds, one teaspoon coriander seeds, three dried chili peppers. Fry for about a minute. Finely chopped onion. Saute for two to three minutes. Garlic ginger and green chili. Saute for another two to three minutes. Quarter teaspoon turmeric. Two teaspoons chili powder or sweet paprika. Half teaspoon cayenne pepper. Two teaspoons garam masala. Half teaspoon salt. Saute for one to two minutes. Quarter cup water. Stir and let it cook for about two minutes. Half a cup tomato puree. Stir and cook for another one to two minutes. When it starts to bubble, you'll start to see the oil separating. Roma tomatoes. Sautéed veggies. Give the pan a good stir. Add a third cup of water and give the pan another good stir. Cover and cook on low for 10 minutes. Give the pan a good stir. Quarter cup coconut cream.
Let it cook for another minute, then turn the heat off. Plate. Top and serve with some fresh cilantro. You can now make this flavor intense recipe with absolute confidence. This looks absolutely fantastic. This for me is the definition of comfort food. I absolutely love these type of rustic looking dishes. It just has these beautiful colors with the purple, the red, the green, and you get this luscious kind of rich red color from that gravy. Just from that first bite, you will not believe how incredibly tender that baby Indian eggplant is. It literally absorbs all of that delicious sauce and it melts in your mouth. I absolutely love seeing that beautiful separation in the oil. And because we use the chili oil in this particular episode, it gives it that really nice smoky and spicy kick. And the oil itself is already by default really aromatic. Added on with the cumin seeds, the coriander seeds, and those dried chili peppers, it really makes this super delightful gravy that is just heavenly. The red bell and green bell pepper adds this kind of sweetness, this acidity, and a little crunchiness as well. The garlic and the onions and the ginger literally melts into that gravy. The cilantro just adds a little of that fresh aromatic lift. Those quarter tomatoes, you almost kind of forget about it because they melt into this entire dish and adds a little bit more sweetness and freshness. That gravy is so incredibly earthy, rich, thick, and just luscious. Definitely one of those dishes that's simple to make and boy, is it ever bursting with flavor. I always say it's extraordinarily easy and delicious dishes like this that makes it so exciting to cook at home. If you love easy and delicious recipes like this, then definitely check out or pick up your copy of those cookbooks or Young Men Cooking merch or that plant-based sushi masterclass. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check out all those things. If you're not already subscribed, definitely do so. Hit that notification bell and I'll see you in the next episode.